Hello and welcome to the Overshadow Shadow Cast of your hostess Abigail and host Tommy Anderson. Hello. Hello everybody and welcome back. Hope you guys are all getting ready for your Christmassy Christmas time with the shopping and the presents and the gifts of trees and eggnog and we don't eat eggnog. Uh, eat eggnog. Yeah, that's eggnog that's gone off. That's eggnog <laughs> from last year. Cheese nog. <laughs> oh, that's. It wouldn't even be cheese nog. It's not even cheese nog. No, that makes no sense. It has milk in it, doesn't it? I don't know. I've never had it. And I thought it had milk in it as well as egg. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. What have you been playing? I played Halo with your good self and you put on Explodey Explodies. Oh, yeah. I remember that now. That was hilarious. Yes, it was quite detrimental to many, many sides. Mainly my left and my right. Uh, your front and your back. So we played the first mission of Halo. Um, Pillar Which is of the Autumn. Pillars of Autumn. Pillar. There was more than one. No, there wasn't. Yes, there was. And we, I turned on a couple of extra skulls just for a laugh. So it was... Um, more grenades are thrown, more... Um, yeah, yeah, the enemy are more likely to throw grenades, basically. And I think they, there were more grenades dropped as well. It works entirely to my advantage because grenades is my favourite thing in the whole blooming world. Mm -hmm. But they were quite... <laughs> I forgot that they were on until we hit the cafeteria and then there was just this, this massive explosion as about eight grenades went off. It was garnage. <laughs> I watched a couple of human marines throw grenades off the wall in front of them at a different point and just boof. One of the skulls I didn't turn on though was um, double explosion radius, so I'm going to turn Thank that on next time. Doing that. Oh my! I remember you've done it once before, and it was just an absolute mess. I I had no idea where I was. There was things flying. There were grunts. There were jackal. Not jackals. There were. Oh, yeah, Elite set. Well, um, there's also a skull. The <clears throat> there's also a skull in which you, um, you. Uh, no jackals on the ship. It decreases the mass of all the objects so that the things get thrown around more easily. No, I don't like stuff like that. So bodies just go. Wah! Ow, it's my ear. Bodies just go. Wah! Ow, my ear. That's interesting. <clears throat> <clears throat> As they go past, they go, Oh, my ear! And now I'm ear! And ear! And ear! <laughs> In fact, a grenade just went off. I'm every ear. I'm every ear. Um, yeah. But well, not 2020 or 2021. Those are horrible years. Years. We we did very well, basically. We got a lot of points because we had the skulls on. Yeah, but there was one part that was very, very difficult, and that's the one where they were like on a higher platform, and it was like a round room. Yes. That you is a hard part. Farewell there. That's the hardest part of the first mission, that part. Yeah. Because you're, yeah, they've got the high. Honest to God, though, right? What is that part of the ship for? Why can you suddenly know. go up a flight of stairs? I don't get that. Do you, do you a question I want answered more than anything in the world? No. Why don't you let me leave the room in the first start of the game? When you first start the game, I'm I'm told stay here. And then you run away, and I have to wait until I get until I teleport to you. Why do you do that every single time? That is not for you to know yet, but you will know soon enough. I want to know, and I want to know why I'm not allowed to participate in the fun. What do you mean? You are. You just miss one. First... You just miss one checkpoint. It. And then you yell at me if I try and go. Mm -hmm. And you, it's like I've ruined your fun. Mm -hmm. Why have I ruined your fun? I need you to just stop thinking about it for me. You do. You need to no. stop thinking about it for me. No. I'm asking you for a personal favour. No. You start on time and then you can start asking me for personal favours. I do start on time. Not your time. <laughs> but down here, it's our time. It's our no, time like, down here. 
You're like my mum. My mum's you know, got a specific time. Do you know and you've also got your own specific time. Do you know what that's from? No. Down here, it's at the Goonies. I've seen it, but it's been a very long time since I watched it. Goonies is incredible. I watched it so many times when I was a child. I must have seen it about 40 to 50 times. If not more. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. That was sad. Well, that guy's dead. He was an American sports star. So he 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 died shortly Can we after the me down? Stop, stop bringing me down. Stop it. Sean Astin's still alive. Stop. Yeah, I know Sean Astin's still alive, and so is the other dude. There was more than one other person in it. No, I'm trying to remember. Who the, I don't know the name of the actor. The actor that plays like the cool one, I think it is. Oh, Corey Feldman. That's it. Yeah. What else have you been playing? That is all I have been playing. I, I don't think I've played Watch Dogs again this week. Mm. You're but fired. I had a lot of fun. I did have a lot. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Ex we, we were dealt a very horrible blow last week at college. And we were all reeling from that. What was this blow? The blow was that we're losing a week in January. We've been told we can't go back on campus a week sooner than we thought we would. We thought we were going to be Hold back on. by on the 10th. Hold on, stop a second. Your great blow is that you have an extra week off. No, we don't have an extra week off. We've still got work to do, but we can't go on in the campus. We can't go in the studio. But even worse is that our portfo our applications, the deadline, is the same week. So we've, we're missing out a week with help from our lecturers and also our portfolios are going to be due roughly around the same time which means that we're missing out on help from them as well being in the same room mm. and we're, we we got a week taken off of us in December as well a few months ago we found that out mm. okay uh, I will pray for you excuse me we're trying to get into university this is actually a massive blow for us we're technically not supposed to be in this week because we've been told if you can work from home, work from home, but it's going to be detrimental to our education so we can go in. I'm, That's my gripe over. I was not putting it down. I was simply saying there's nothing I can do to help. I know there's nothing you can do to help. Because I'm useless. So you're not an art lecturer. Says who? Says your education. What does my education say? That you don't know anything about contemporary art practices. Okay, because that's every no, no, time, no, that's what it doesn't every say. Time, every time I bring up contemporary art practice, you have a go at me that why aren't you learning about Van Gogh? Why aren't you learning about Van Gogh? No. Da Vinci and all this kind of stuff. It's because they're the masters. We're learning about contemporary art practice, current art practice. Yeah, but current art is nowhere near as good as that. Come on. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Rubbish. It's actually better. Rubbish. See, this is why you're not an art lecturer. No, the, the pure talent on display with the old masters is far superior to anything we have in contemporary art. If you do fine art now, fine, but contemporary art practices, no. Like, I can empty a rubbish bag on the ground and say that's art. That's not contemporary art practice. Like that's conceptual art. That's, no, that's, that's a contemporary. No, that's a contemporary art practice. That is conceptual art. They didn't do that five hundred years ago. No, but they were doing stuff like that 50, 60 years ago, and that's no longer considered contemporary well, art. Compared to the old masters, like, it's, it's you just wished. You don't know what you're talking about. What have you been playing? No. What does my education say about me? No, what doesn't it say? What does it that say? That you're incredibly academic. Mm-hmm. What else? What else? That you have no idea about conceptual or contemporary No, that's what art. it says. I, no, what does it say? Not what does doesn't it say. you know about immunology. Right. And science. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Excuse me? What did I train to be? A teacher <clears throat> of biology. Mm. 
I have a great many educations. To do a science mm. and not the arts. Yeah, good. Although we make a podcast, I'm calling that art. <laughs> Did you just yawn at your own art? No, I yawned at you. <laughs> but you're in the podcast. <laughs> no, I yawned at what you just said. I'm calling my podcast art. No, I'm just everything you say. All oh, right, just all oh, right. Okay, I understand now. I normally try and hide <clears throat> it, but this time I've decided to make it a lot more visible and audible. That's, that's your that's your uh, uh, oh, contemporary art piece for today. Just yawning in my face. No, my contemporary art piece today is what I'm going to be working on after we finish this. Right. What have I been playing? Did you ask? Yes. What have you been playing? I finished off my Rome Total War 2 playthrough for... Oh, God. Right, apologies if you hear background music. I'm booting the game up so I can find out what it's actually called. Because I can't remember what the actual playthrough is called. But it's the secondary playthrough. It's not the main grand campaign. This is the one where the Roman Empire has split in four. It's already taken Carthage... And, you know, parts of Iberia and um, Greece and the Middle East. You know, it's, it's got its empire, but its empire yeah. has split um, into four. Lepidus's, mm-hmm. Pompey's, Antony's and Octavian's Rome. So just after the uh, assassination of Gaius Julius Caesar. Kaiser. And Caesar. it's called the Imperator Augustus. Nice. That's what that campaign is called. Just quit the game now. So I finished that off. So, in fact, on your screen right now, there should be a map of me having... You know, just everything's in red because I've taken over the world. Um, it was it was, it was, was more interesting at points because I was able to fight Romans, which are actually difficult to fight. But overall, it was still... It was more, more boring than the original campaign because it was way too Why? similar. It was too similar, but too easy compared with... The grand campaign, I think. And the Romes are the only issue for each other. So there is that element because you're fighting against another Rome. But if you're smart, you just don't pick a fight with Antony's Rome until later on in the game. If you go Octavian or if you go Antony, you don't pick a fight with Octavian. You can pick a fight with the other two and it's easy because they're much weaker. And then you take over as much of the rest of the map as you can. And by that point, you've got so much power, you just steamroll over the top of them there's a couple mm. of good fights i had um but praetorian guard are just they when you throw them into the mix if the enemy it, i only won what i think i won two battles maybe one against praetorian guard of s- extreme number when i didn't have yeah. any of my own because the step in quality is so great so if you have praetorians and they don't you're just wondering you're just going to go straight over the top of everybody you fight unless they have them as well and then it's tactics <clears throat> So, a strategy. If you outnumber them or you can outflank them, you're going to be okay. But that's a lot harder. To, it's almost impossible to do if they outnumber you for you to outflank them, because they can just break off half their army and chase down whoever it is yeah. who's trying to flank. So it's quite procedural and quite obvious, really, what's going to happen. Um, then a couple of naval battles more, I think, they did in the last time. <sighs> You just get your ships and ram them into the other ships until they sink. So it's just... It's not just a worse concept than Empire Total Wars naval battles. It's also done worse. Because Why? done worse? It's, it's, it's done worse? It's, it, it's done in a worse way. It's done worse uh, <laughs> That's no word! It, That's no word! It's, Stop trying to trick me with your made-up words. It, 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 it has been programmed in, in a in a, a a less proficient manner because it just is click attack this ship attack this ship attack this ship attack this ship oh you're not moving hmm, interesting do you attack this ship no you're not moving how about the four of you attack this ship oh two of you have ran into each other and sunk each other <laughs> it's so, no it's M- chaos M- i like shogun too but the best all-round game for land and naval battles is Empire by far. And yeah, I, th- I think Empire's all... Considering I was thinking about Empire and I thought, 
I'm not going to like Empire because it's got guns. Yeah. It's actually, it's my favourite. And I think other than that, I would probably say Medieval 2 and then the original Rome and then Shogun 2. Those are like the top four. I, I Maybe maybe Napoleon for a top five. The rest don't really feature in as, as well. Like Rome 2 is not as good and... Um, it's just not as good um, and from what I've heard of some of the others they, they keep they, what they've do, done is somehow backtrack away from what made it better so, so it's been getting progressively worse yeah like they're gutting out game mechanics and stuff like that and, that makes no sense because yeah. they should be improving upon them with each game Yeah. well if they take them out for the next three they can put them back in and pretend it's an in- improvement but I have well, Empire new coat and then yeah well, I've got and Empire and I've got Medieval 2, so don't need anything else. You need love and friendship. No, I don't. My yes, armies do. will love me. Your our armies fear you. That is not the same as loving. Um, I've also been playing on the Game Pass, and you know about this because I've been talking about it non-stop, Mountain Blade Warband. So we went back to, I went back to South Brusilith. Mm-hmm. Why are you looking like a, you don't know what I'm talking about? can't remember the medieval based game where you start off as a random person you've got the right to rule the entire land oh wait yes 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 but yes, yes. you start off as just a random wee dude and then you build up your army um sorry it's been a it's been a long couple of weeks no, no, i get it when i went back to the game it was just a, we were just my guy was just a random guy with a few men and that was it mm-hmm. so i signed up as a mercenary for the nords and then i became a vassal and then i got I, I i was very frightened of joining in the battles but there was a turning point where i started to be able to defeat enemies that were twice the size of me yeah by you know just and, and apparently um the nords are locked into the best to go because they have the best infantry by far swadia is right next door so you can take their recruits to make the best cavalry and you can get the best archers from um the the best crossbowmen from the road docks, I think it's called, and the the Vegas give you the best archers, but the archers for the Nords are apparently the second best archers in the game. So I lucked into a really good faction to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started to fight and win a lot more battles uh, against much a tougher opposition, and so I was eventually given a fief. A fief. Yeah, of a village slash town. I think the cities are called towns, but I don't like calling them that because they're much bigger, so I prefer to call them cities. But the the villages, I was given one of those, but in wartime you don't get any rent from it because it's constantly looted. So there's nothing you can do about it. <clears throat> Sorry, raided and looted, so there's nothing you can do about it. But then I started, uh, after I started to win bigger battles against bigger opposition, I started to just say, okay, well, I, t- I did a siege by myself against 60 men. I captured that. And I had that was mine, and they gave me it, so I had a castle. I did another siege against a group of guys where it was a hundred and uh, fifty to to eighty. I yeah. took that, and they gave me that as well. And I did a siege in against the city where we had took the city, lost the city, taken it back, and lost it again. So the <laughs> enemy had only put sixty men inside it. Have you been fighting for Berwick upon Tweed? Have you? <laughs> yeah, Durham, and. I sieged the city quickly and took it quickly by attacking. I get you know, my men against their men, it just wiped them out easily and I just sat inside it. Um and I got given the city. So now the city like most of them say if you put ten thousand pounds into buying a die works, you get five hundred at most a turn. Yeah. Sorry, not a turn a week in rent. The city gives me somewhere in the region of five to nine thousand gold a week. Yeah. So I went from struggling financially to having like 70 grand in my pocket. I took another castle during the war I'm in at the minute and they didn't give me it. They wouldn't give me it. I've got too many things. So I'm going to have to declare war on the Nords and win that by myself somehow. Um, That's my next step. And I have found a potential wife. Lady Alfred. 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 Anyway, I can't remember. Um... But her brother was a Nord, then became a Rodok, then became a something else. He just keeps moving around. Yeah. 
because he nobody's giving him a fief because he got way too high a controversy. Whereas I'm full of honor, so <laughs> you are the noblest of the nobles. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do because his his sister won't marry me unless I get him on side, but he won't give me any tasks to do. So I might have to. Yeah, I might either have to try and get her to elope with me, or I might have to try and get her uh, get him like under my fiefdom and then yeah. and then excommunicate him after like basically declare him treasonous or i might because you can't just kill him i can't just assassinate him so i don't really know what to do there um, but that's where i am at the minute try to figure out how to get married and build up enough forces that i can declare war on the nords because i have made them ridiculously powerful <laughs> by winning all these wars for them well but, i wish you sorry I was just going to say, I've, I've really, really, really enjoyed it. I think this is the kind of game that you thrive on. But Thanks. we shall wish you well for your possible upcoming nuptials within the game. Oh, thanks very much. You're very welcome. And I hope that everybody else wishes you with your happy nuptials of possibly stealing a bride. Can we just, just clarify? I mean, like, properly clarify. I'm not getting married, right? It's just my <laughs> character in the game is trying to basically hijack a, a baby carriage. Well, we shall end it on that delightful note of because, describing be- a woman as a baby carriage. No, because that's um, that's what... We're nobles and we're trying to marry each other. I mean, I'm being all romantic about it, but historically speaking, that's how we view that sort of thing from the past. I suppose we do. Like I said, on that delightful note of describing women as baby carriages. We shall end it there for this week. Short but sweet. Mm-hmm. So... If you guys want to leave any comments, that'd be great. You can leave comments down below or you can email us at overshadowshadowcast at gmail.com. You can like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button for when we upload. You can hit the share button, share it with your friends and enemies. That'd be fantastic. I don't think there's anything else to say. I always get confused because I always do it in a different order. As soon as I do it in a different order, my brain just goes, I don't know what to do anymore. But you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, that's my go-to function. <laughs> Your brain says, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'll just keep talking until you work it out, son. Go. So thank you guys so much for being here. And we hope you guys come back next week. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Tommy, on your possible elopement. <sighs> Can you stop saying that? It's a game. <laughs> no, it's not. Life is a game. It is life game. Game life. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye.